These things are out of control. Holy no, not again. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Calamity Overpowered Rogue Let's Play. And guys, I am so excited for today's adventure. As you can see, we are straight into the action. The guide is about to get destroyed there. Oh, I'm sorry, guide. Oh, my goodness. Yes, guys, we are straight into the goblins. I went and farmed up some goblin scouts. I've been smashing crimson hearts. All that good stuff because we need the goblins uh, to unlock the tinkerer as we are just about ready to start fighting bosses, uh, which I am very excited about to start getting some more powering up. Uh, also, you can probably notice a big change in our world. Uh, you guys have been absolute MVPs in the comments, uh, suggesting all of these awesome mods and texture packs. Uh, and yeah, talking about texture packs, you can see we have the Calamity texture pack and the UI update. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm getting used to it. All the items look different. Oh my gosh. We've got a DPS meter so we can start to check out. Oh, I've got rage. Oh my god, I've got rage. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, so you're telling me I build up my stealth and then I hit rage and then I throw the stealth stuff and yeah, it should do lots of damage. Whoa, we got up to 400 damage. That's crazy. So yeah, so I'm trying to learn about stealth. Uh, especially if I do an OP Rogue video, just a standalone video, I'm going to have to learn, like, how all this works. So, it's quite intricate. There's a lot to learn. Oh my gosh, Happy, don't die. It's all under control, people. We're not going to die in the intro. All under control. Woo! But, uh, yeah, I'll probably flash some comments up on screen. You guys have been absolute MVPs, giving me tips on all the mods to use. Uh, I ha I've added a few mods today. I think Fargo's was a very popular one. Uh, to get the mutant NPC, so we can be adding, um, I think they sell the boss summons, which is going to be super useful. And the other thing, I've added a music mod, a few of you were suggesting. And yeah, lo lots of different stuff like that. So Fargo's music mod. And I think there was another one. Check the mod list. It's in the description. I'll update it each video. Also, big thank you uh, for all of the support, guys. All the likes. New subscribers, welcome to our second channel. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, by the way. Uh, if you haven't yet, because, yeah, um, I a lot of you seem to be enjoying Let's Plays back on our second channel. Oh my gosh, Happy, don't die. Don't die, Happy. No, no, we're not going to die. It's all under control. Oh, goodness, I'm getting surrounded. No, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Just don't panic. No, <laughs> not in the intro. Yeah, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine, you dumb goblins. You win this round, but I will win the war, people. Oh gosh, so our goals today, we need to get max health, we need to defeat the goblins. Uh, also, a lot of you were saying the Blood Moon has some good weapons, so I need to see if I can spawn one of them somehow. Uh, um, we might just sleep in our bed for a while. And another big thing, uh, people- Ah, no, not again! Ah! <laughs> my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying happy. I can't even talk anymore, and there's gravestones everywhere. Woo! Oh, another big thing, uh, a few a few of you were telling me that the Reaver Shark has max power in Calamity. They've, like, reverted the update, so it has 100% pickaxe power, which means we can actually get Hellstone Ore, and apparently there's a rogue weapon I can make with that. So, this is so awesome. So, we're going to try and get as overpowered as we can pre-boss and all that good stuff. And I hope you guys are checking the damage meter. It's hard for me to look at it while I'm attacking all the goblins. But uh, I think we've more or less got this under control. I've died a few times. Uh, let's finish off these goblins. And we've got a lot to do today and get on with our adventure. Oh my gosh, guys. I visited the NPC prison and it looks like the mutant has moved in the abomination. And he sells the bloody tear item for the blood moon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy one. And we will probably do a poll about buying things like potions and all that stuff. Slime rain, sand... Oh, this is so handy. Oh my god, it's so handy. I love it. But uh, we'll do a poll about all this sort of stuff because, yeah, I want to know how you guys feel about it before I just go and do it all. Okay, people, we are officially on our mission to find some life crystals, find the goblin, and find some loot, and find everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a gem tree. I don't really... Oh, do I need gems? I need diamonds. Was that... It wasn't a diamond tree, was it? Uh, where are you? you uh, it's an amber one. No, I don't really need that. So we still need to... Ma oh, goodness, I got hit by something. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, I should add these to the thingy. Hang on. Is that... No, I did it wrong. I need to add it, and then I need to vein mine. Yes, vein miner. Yes, okay. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Professional happy. We are the best at vein mining stuff. All right, can I do that one? No, I think I need to add it. Yes! Oh, my God, I love this. Even though I don't really need tin, but whatever. It's all under control, people. Can I do this one? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I'm distracted very easily. Is this one of these gem things? Is that a gem monster? I think it's an emerald one, though. That's okay. All right, let's throw some spiky things on you. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, so yeah, we're looking for the goblin, and I've probably missed him, and there's like a million comments like, happy, happy, you've missed the goblin. Oh my gosh, what are you doing with your life? Okay, let's get away from the dynamite blast. Don't blow yourself up like the other day. All right, here we go. Lovely, lovely. All right, there we go. I can get through here. This is all under control, people. Oh, is there life crystals over here? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yes, life crystal. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, we got... Oh, they look pretty with the... um. I like how they look with the uh, texture pack. That's awesome. Okay, Ruby, I could use those for... um. No, the bomb. Stay near the tree. Stay near the tree. There we go. Blow it up. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I could use rubies in case I need to fight King Slime. So that is definitely something I will keep my eyes on. Yeah, so I've probably missed the goblin already. Okay, there's another life crystal. Let's make our way. Vein mine. Yes. Vein mine to glory, Happy. You can do it. Oh, goodness. No, get away from me, Slime. Woo! Okay, there we go. Beautiful. <gasps> there's another one. Yes. Okay, this is all happening, people. Oh, my God. There's more. Oh, yes. Oh, there's so many crystals. This is so good. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Let's get rid of you. I've got some sort of debuff. How, what are we up to? 280 health. This is so good. All right, let's get some of this stuff. Just more tin. But I'm going to need money for all of the reforge. Oh, was that a boulder? Holy moly. I was just getting my bombs out. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. That's fine. All right, let's throw some nice bombs over there. We'll blast it away. Although I probably don't need bombs as much. No, no, no. Don't throw the bombs on yourself, Happy. Oh, goodness. I don't probably need the bombs as much because I can vein mine. Yeah. Okay, there's a miner. All right, let's just get you. All right, there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's get our way through here. So we've got some nice... Oh, what did I get? A new item has been unlocked in Deviant's shop. I wonder what it... Oh, well, it's probably the miner's helmet because I just killed an undead miner. But uh, yeah, I don't know who Deviant is. Do we have our NPC list? Is that um, Harley, Deviant? Who's Deviant? Hello? I don't... I don't know. I don't know who Deviant is. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. I just found a cloud in a bottle. This is awesome. Oh, we just got the Deviant guy. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, I can probably replace this for my climbing claws, I reckon. Because, yeah, I definitely want to get that double jump happening. Uh, because that will be super useful. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's just throw some stuff in there. So, we're still hunting for Mr. Goblin. I haven't found him yet. Or maybe I have found him and I didn't notice him. Oh, my gosh. Goblin. Goblin. We found you. Yes. Okay, let's get rid of all the stuff. Okay, beautiful. We rescue our nice goblin friend. And then... Whoa, step... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so much information. Ah! Okay, that's probably useful, I think. Uh, let's see, I definitely need this. I don't need another one of these. And I don't need hooks. Oh, spiky balls. Okay, we got rogue weapons. I have some, but I'm probably going to need more later on anyway. And I don't know, do I need this stat thing? Well, I can always buy one later if I need it. But we have found the goblin. Our next mission is complete. Oh my gosh, we got the reaver for shark. And I'm rage fishing. And this is out of control, people. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> so, oh, we've gone to do some fishing. People were telling me, you can see it's got 100% pickaxe power. And I don't know what mod, I think it's Fargo's. It lets me have two things. So I sit on the toilet and get lots of, <laughs> get lots of fishing power. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. But we have the Reaver Shark, which means, oh my gosh, I can get some more sea urchins while I'm here. Yes, we can top up our urchin stingers. So yeah, so now we can get Hellstone, which is going to be really, really awesome. But we'll do a community poll, guys. Um, so I was wondering, there's a lot of little things like this I need to do, uh, in our playthrough that's going to be like, you know, do you want me to include this in the video or, cause it's kind of hard, you know, I know not everyone wants me to sit me, to sit there watching me go fishing, uh, but I do need to do it. So I don't know how we're going to include it sort of thing, or do you just want me to show like a screenshot of me catching the fish? I don't know. But uh, we'll work it out. But uh, anyway, we've got our Reaver Shark. Oh my gosh, people. It is time for some upgrades. So I've just put my Tinkerer's Workshop here for now. So we should be able to craft some Spectre Boots, which is kind of nice. And I don't think there's anything else I can make there yet. Uh, in yesterday's episode, I was farming up the Gladiator stuff. And I'll show you. This has 40 damage with that on. And then when I put this on, you can see it doesn't quite get as high. So I think... And also the defense, I think the gladiator's armor is, yeah, it's a lot more tanky. So, yeah, definitely an improvement there. Now, a lot of people were telling me I need to go check out the planetoids. 
Uh, so what we'll do is, let's get that happening. Uh, I think the big base is generally, like, just right above us, so... Yeah, I don't know. So let's put our map on and let's see if we just, like, bump into it. Now, I don't know if you die if you go to space. It's like, isn't there those heat things or whatever? Okay, so this looks like a baby one. We need to find the big one. All right, so this is a baby. Can Is there, like, stuff inside it? So people were saying there's, like, life crystals in some of them. Is this... No, this is just a normal one. I think that you can get, like, ore and stuff in some of them, but... Hey, that's fine. At least I'm not, like, melting. I, I remember one time when I played Calamity, you would just, like, die if you went to space. So, ooh, what's this one? It's a honey one. Okay, hang on. Which, I'm not sure if I'm upside down or not. Uh, yeah. Is that, like, hang on. Let's get our way in here. Oh, no, the bees are back, and I'm upside down. This is so disorientating. But that's fine. Did, is that a word, disorientating? I don't know. I can speak good, okay? <laughs> ooh. Okay, we got it. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. This is pretty good to harvest up some mushrooms. That's... Oh, hang on. Is there, like, life crystals in these ones? I don't know. Which ones have the life crystals, people? You tell me. Oh, goodness. Okay, this just looks like it's got... Yeah, this has got, it's got normal stuff. That's fine. Okay, maybe I'm going the wrong way. Is this the big one? No, it might be the other way, I think. Okay, this looks... <gasps> is that a life crystal one? I think this might be it. Okay, hang on. Let's just get through here. Be <gasps> yes, we found a life crystal. Oh, my gosh. It's so amazing. All right, let's use that up. And then, let's add that. I think that's Topaz. Beautiful. Oh, gosh, guys. We are getting everything. So, let's go back to the other side and see if there's a base there. Okay, we found another honey one by the looks of it. So, let's just mine our way. Oh, can I add those to it? Oh, my gosh. No. I've released too many bees. Oh, goodness. Happy. Haven't you learned your lesson from the bee attacks from earlier? Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Is this like another... Oh, a bee minecart. I will take that. That'll replace our shroom one. That we got earlier from a mushroom biome. That is fine. Oh goodness. Okay, is this the big one? Okay, this yeah, this is this is it, I think. Alrighty. So yeah, if you're new to Calamity, there's like these labs. Are they called the Drayden Labs or something like that? Arsenal Labs, something like that. And uh yeah, they have like some lore in them as well as uh yeah, some useful materials because I think there's a rogue weapon we can make. Uh, that is like, you need to charge it with power cells or whatever, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and those things are like totally going to shoot me, aren't they? <laughs> so I need to be a little bit careful. Okay, so yeah, it's these. These are the charging stations, and that's a sign. And then these, oh yeah, these are the charging, I don't know. They're all charging thingies. And then this is, is this Drayden? I think all employees are hereby notified that they will be held accountable for any collateral damage caused by the Gorse Weapon Fire. Even during sanction testing exercises. Okay, so don't get shot, basically. All right, let's go in here. Let's get some more of these. And loot. <gasps> wow, look at all this. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff in here. Check it out. This is crazy. Okay, this is awesome. All right, so let's get some platforms. We need to do some pig sorting. All right, put the stuff in there. Grab this. Grab this. Oh, okay, I didn't need to go so crazy. And this shows you, ah, uh, so it's like, you, then I can go to the jungle and find the lab. And I need to charge it. And then this one's, okay, that's the same thing, I think. And then you can make, like, stuff with all this. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff. Tell me if I need anything. Oh, my God. You know, you, this is what I was saying when I said this is a bit overwhelming. There is so much to learn here. This is out of control. Oh, Ghost Dagger. No, that's melee. Okay. Oh my gosh, people. Can I just say, I absolutely love this mining mod. Can, can I just really thank you to everyone who kept nagging me to install this? Because, my goodness, this is the best thing ever. It's just like, you know, because obviously, as soon as you've got the pickaxe that can mine the blocks, like, it's not difficult. It's just time consuming to, like, mine stuff up. But this is just making it, like, a dream to do. Like, my... Oh, goodness! Don't set yourself on fire, Happy. Ooh, what is that? Can I add that? Okay, beautiful. So, we got some gold. We got more obsidian. Beautiful. I am loving it. So, thank you so much to everyone who suggested it. Oh, my gosh. Diamonds. We found diamonds, people. And you know what that means, don't you? That means we can finally start to make some of the rogue stuff. So, the crystalline and magic storage. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm more excited than usual. <laughs> But let's keep going to the underworld. We are finally here. Let's throw some buffs on. We have made our way to the underworld. And we have a few missions while we're down here. Let's just get rid of this crazy demon. Oh my gosh, for vengeance enemies. You're so crazy. Okay, can I mine up the Hellforge? Yep, beautiful. Okay, I knew that was a Hellforge, even though the sprite was different. Oh, 
Oh gosh! Alright, here we go. So basically what we need to do down here, the first one should be fairly easy. I just need to get uh, some Hellstone Ore. So let's see. Alright, if I can just mine through here. Beautiful. Please forgive me if I forget to vein mine some things. I'm still getting used to having unlimited mining power. It's kind of cool. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so I can mine that up. Beautiful. So, yeah, we just need to get a little bit of Hellstone. I don't think I need too much. Um, so basically, I need to make... Uh, there's a rogue weapon called, yeah, Infernal Chris. Uh, which, yeah, all I need is an anvil. And, yeah, 70 rogue damage. So that is pretty crazy indeed. Now, a few of you were also telling me... Uh, oh, goodness, that thing is huge. <laughs> yeah, a few of you were telling me that if we can find the Brimstone Crag... Uh, there's actually a rogue weapon in the chests, I think. So, yeah, that might... Oh, my goodness. Don't die, Happy. Don't die, Happy. No, no, no. Where's that giant worm? Oh, goodness. Okay. No, I'm not ready for this. No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. Hilarious. Happy's dead again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. So, I need to find the brimstone crag. Apparently, I, I thought the chest might be locked with shadow keys, but, uh... I don't think that's the case, so, yeah, we just- Oh no, these worms are back for my soul. Okay, I- I think I'm gonna try and avoid combat. Oh my gosh, the- the- the imp thing dropped it! It's the ashen stalac- stalactite? Something like that. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, I don't know if it's any good, someone just told me to get it, so I'm like, alright, we can farm for that. It seems- oh yes, yes, that seems stronger. It's, I think it's, like, pretty much a direct upgrade to my Gilded Dagger. So, it's auto swing. It's got a strong... I don't know what the stealth strike's like. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, it just throws one. <laughs> but, uh, hey, it's still good. But I guess we've come this far. We might as well see uh, if we can still find the Brimstone Crag. There might be some more loot. Okay, guys, the water has turned pink. I sort of died. And uh, <laughs> I think we've made it to the Brimstone Crag thingy. Oh, wow, those things look cool. Are they trees? Oh, no, get out of the lava, Happy. What are you... Why can't I walk on the lava? Is that not lava anymore? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a- Wow, that looks awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so cool. Holy moly. Get away from me, enemies. Oh goodness. Is there treasure in here? Is there treasure for Happy? This looks really nice, but I don't know where the treasure is. Is it under the water? I don't know. Anyway, let's just keep walking. I should have brought a Spelunker potion. This is so amazing. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun playing this. Okay, let's just, let's just, I think I need to use my strongest weapons here. These things are out of control. Holy no, not again. Okay, people, this is round two. I've brought some buffs along. I made like some iron skin and regen. And we also had some calming potions. So maybe that will lower the spawn rates just enough where I can actually have a proper look around here. Yeah, I'm wondering if the treasures is you know, like underneath this bit. Wow, these, these things are so beautiful. I love whoever did the sprite work on them. They look fantastic. Holy moly. So, yeah, this is really cool. So, I remember when I played Calamity ages ago. Wow, I'm getting so much stuff. A slipper pole. Oh, it's like a fishing thing. Cool. Of course it is. It says pole happy. What did you expect? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, we found a bridge. This is awesome. I think this is where you would fight that um, boss. What's it called? The um, Brimstone Elemental. Uh, yes. Oh, there's the thingy. So, if it didn't drop from the uh, Fire Imp, uh, we would have got it from here anyway. So, that's pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so we know there is some treasure on these things. I wonder if there's more of these. So, if we go along the bridge a bit more... Uh, yeah, that would pretty... Pre blah, blah, I can talk. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Is there more treasure for Happy? Is it under the water? I don't think... Oh, it's... I don't even know. I think that's lava. But, um... Yeah, so I know we said... I know I said we would get to a boss today. But I'm also really enjoying this journey, guys. I don't sort of want to rush just to sort of, like... Um, you know, make progress and accidentally miss things. So... I think, um, if you guys don't mind, we'll sort of just go with the flow a bit this playthrough and sort of enjoy the journey. If you're up for a slightly longer series, that would be kind of cool. Um, oh my gosh, I found another thing. Oh, a melee weapon. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and we've got this enemy here. Let's get rid of you. But, uh, yeah, so keep those likes coming, guys. Keep subscribing. This is going to be an awesome series. I can't wait to keep going. We are definitely close to a boss fight, though. No, don't die in the outro! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> leave a like subscribe keep your comments coming guys i've got so much to learn still we're almost ready for boss fights it's gonna be amazing and uh here's the most important part as always you'll stay happy and i'll see you soon this is happy days signing out see ya